Now, since we just rang in the new year, many people make New Year's resolutions, but maybe you didn't think about how you can actually tailor them to improve your relationships as well. Yeah, the most important relationships. That is why we brought in Kat Roby to help us. Good morning, Kat. Happy New Year and good morning. Happy New Year to you. It's so good to have you. Thank you. So, it's a new year. And, you know, you're here to tell us that it's a good opportunity to take a long, hard look and analyze your relationship, what can be fixed, and how we can incorporate our New Year's resolutions. Yeah, I think we all get that clean slate feeling. Yeah. You know, ciao, 2014. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> and so, so when, when we're saying, uh, are we talking about New Year's resolutions we already have, or maybe we should make some that go along with uh, our relationships? I think it's just good to keep your mind open to, yeah. are there some places that you can improve in that area as well? You know, we're always thinking of health and fitness, nutrition, you know, read more books, do this and that. But what about taking a good inventory of who you are in relationship? What are you getting out of the relationship? What's working? What's not working? Why am I here? <laughs> yes, and we were actually talking a lot during the commercial break about a lot of this is a lot of yeah. self-reflection. So much, yeah. And that's kind of tough to do. Yeah. You know, especially when you're comfortable enough. Sometimes people might have um, situations where they aren't sure they want to stay in the partnership, but to think about going back into the dating pool would be worse, so they stay and are somewhat miserable mm -hmm. after the fact. So, you know, what is it that you really need to shake up in the relationship? Uh, maybe it has to do with being more of yourself and speaking up for things just that you have an opinion about versus being so kind and nice and letting everyone have their way. It really doesn't work really well to make you happy. Mm -hmm. Because and you want someone to be with you for you, right. not for somebody that will just go with the flow yeah. all the time. And there's a couple pieces to this, too, because once you start doing things for other people because you think you're being nice or you think you're being easygoing, go with the flow, well, you're kind of robbing them of the chance to know who you are and you, but you're also setting it up so that you might harbor resentments, you know, and later on think, well, I really wanted to do this, but I went with you here. And then you start keeping score well, I did this with you, why don't you do this with me? And then we get into places where that's really uh, burdensome for the relationship. Yeah, and, and would you agree that when you're with someone, um, communication mm. is key. Mm -hmm. And, and the, the feeling that you can be honest with that person, they're not gonna judge you. And so what, what kind of advice do you have around communication and keeping things really open and everything out on the table? That is such an important quality in a relationship. The one thing I would say is you can't always know that you're not going to be judged. And so how do you tolerate still being yourself in the, fa the face of someone having an opinion maybe negatively about it or questioning you on it? And, and I think that's where the struggle comes in. You know, we get that, I call it the uh-oh feeling, you know, especially when I work with kids, but it works really well for me to think, oh, there's that feeling again. I feel a little uh, uncertain. And is it because someone thinks what I'm doing is weird or wrong or, or you know, is it really wrong? So it gives me a chance to check it out a little bit. And you might get that uh-oh feeling when you're really being yourself, but you scan and you think, no, this is something I like. It might not be for everybody, but I'm gonna keep going with it. And, you know, judgment, oh well. <laughs> yeah. And you know, along with that, that kind of feeling that you're talking about, I love that, you know, reading up on what we were talking about today, you said, if you're reevaluating whether or not you should or shouldn't be in a relationship, and today may be the perfect day to ask yourself this, am I really, can I not live without this relationship or am I more scared of being alone? Right. Is that why you're staying in it? Because you just, you're afraid of being out there by yourself or, you know, mm -hmm. what will I do financially or, or whatever the case may be. Right. And maybe today's a good gut check. I think so. And, I, you know, just checking for whatever reason it might be that you're staying, whether you're comfortable. You know, I hear a lot of people in the office say, I don't want to leave because I don't want to hurt the other person's feelings. <coughs> well, what kind of give are you really giving to them when you're just there so that you don't hurt them? You know, sometimes I take these situations and I try to turn them into how can you trust the other person yeah. to be okay in the face of if you have to leave or, you know, trust yourself to be okay in the face of judgments. Right. Like, try to hold on to this all in a different way. Turn it around so that it's a respectful thing. Yeah. Is it respectful? Are you giving them anything just by staying with them because you don't want to hurt their feelings? Right. Exactly. Well, and Kat, I just want to say one more thing. You, you told us if you don't approve of you, no outside approval will last. And I think that's an important thing to note this year. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. It's always good to have you. And to get more tips to optimize your relationships, just call Kat at 906-3392 or go to online, uh, online to robycounseling.com.